What's up guys? This is Tony Shu and today we're going to look at the Jordan 1 prototypes. Let's get a shoe tube. Before we get into the next video guys, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button. For future content, hit the subscribe. This video is really exciting for me because this is my first ever sneakers reserve hit. Maybe not first ever, but first in a very, 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 very long time. Definitely the first since the last dance. Definitely the first since the sneaker hype went. Now, a reason why I think I might have hit is honestly because of the hype with this shoe. There is very little to no hype on this shoe. Jordan 1 prototype. Jordan 1, the most hyped Jordan silhouette ever. I'm Ron Burgundy? Probably, definitely probably the best resale value of any single sneaker. But for some reason, people don't like this. Now, I have a feeling I know why. Let's dive in. So, when you first look at the top of the box, this is obviously not a normal Jordan 1 box. Normal Jordan 1 boxes. All black, red lettering, red swoosh, red Nike Air, red pretty much all lettering. This one, all kinds of funky colors. Obviously, funky colors, you, you guessed it, you're right, are part of the actual shoe's colorway. Now, on top of the box, you have blue, two different shades of blue, split apart with the half of it with the orange Nike and the other half being a little kind of stitched Nike. The reason for that is because supposedly you can cut the shoe to make it a low. So go around the box. Box is mostly beige with Nike in orange all around. 1985 Air Jordan 1. And the label says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. White. Total orange. Multicolor. And this is a size 12. Opening the box. Very, very basic. The tissue paper is extremely basic. It's actually beige to go with the beige color of the box itself. Normally you get the white tissue paper, so. Yay, we got different tissue paper. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Woo! 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 And here are the shoes. Hmm. Let's take a look. So, first things first, this Jordan 1 comes with your black laces, comes with a pair of white laces, comes with a pair of blue laces, and it comes with a pair of orange laces. Coincidentally, you guessed it, all the colors that are on this shoe. Now, let's go ahead and address the cutting of the shoe. Now, the Jordan 1 High is basically what everyone says, a Jordan 1 low without this little top piece. Now, if you look closely there, you see how they kind of gave you the imprint of, of where you're gonna cut the shoe to make it into a low. So, let's get that, this out of the way. I prefer Jordan 1 highs. Now, it's not to say I don't like lows. I do own lows. I've worn lows. It's not bad. It's more of like a summer, springtime, warm thing. But for me, Jordan 1 highs, classic, iconic, and I just prefer how they look. I will not be cutting this shoe, by the way. Not, it's not happening. I kind of think off the rip, that's the reason why this shoe is not doing well. It didn't do well. Now, did it still sell out? Absolutely. It sold out in two seconds because the Jordan 1 high. People have their bots set so that any time Jordan 1 High goes anywhere, boom, they're gone. If you're even just a regular sneaker collector or Jordan collector, you're probably getting any Jordan 1 that comes out. If you don't get, get Jordan 1 that comes out, you're probably going to buy it 
in your size, take a look at it, and then sell it, trade it, or whatever else. That's just what kind of the Jordan 1 is these days. It's the, you know, it's pretty much the the upper top echelon of sneakers or Jordan sneakers. Everyone wants them. Doesn't matter how ugly the colorway is, how trash the colorway is, how weird it might look, how out there it is. It doesn't matter if you hate orange and white, you probably bought the Electro Orange because you love Jordan 1s. Me personally, love Jordan 1s. Didn't buy Electro Orange. Did, didn't even put a, a sneaker raffle in for the Jordan 1 Electro Orange. It just, it just wasn't me. This one, I got because I was curious. I'm very curious about what they did here. Now, the actual construction of the sneaker, let's not get this twisted. It's not bad. You know, it's really not bad. The black heel that is leather. You have the blue part over here that's new buck. You have more darker blue that's leather up here. Your gray here is like another, um, kind of like a smooth new buck. Maybe even, yeah, it's like a smooth new buck. The white is leather, the black swoosh is leather, and then your kind of like a beige color here all around the shoe eyelets, and then the toe mudguard is another new buck as well. The toe box is leather. So all kinds of different materials, all kinds of different colors. Honestly, is not an ugly colorway. How nice it looks is subjective, right? So me personally, I think it looks nice. Am I gonna keep this shoe? Up in the air, probably not. I'm leaning towards probably not. Do I like this shoe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, this was this was on the clearance rack, and I wanted something to kind of beat around with. I would consider it. If this was half the price, I'd cut it for you guys. I'm not gonna do that because I don't get monetized for this channel, so it's not. I'm not gonna just toss my money away and cut this thing and get rid of any kind of trade value or value to someone else that might want this shoe. I haven't even told anyone that I got this shoe, so maybe someone that's in my circle might want this shoe. In that case, here you go, man. But I will say, colors are nice. Colors go well together. The different shades of blue kind of work with the orange too. Now, orange and blue are my high school colors, so I do have affinity for that as well. And I do like the little hits of orange on the, on like the air tag, on the stitching here on the sides, on the little Nike swoosh here on the toe box, which is really, really cool as well. And to be honest, the new buck feels really, really soft. The leather is just like a standard Jordan 1, you know, leather. Nothing to write home about. But the new buck is nice, the new buck is soft. And honestly, if you just take the top part away from the shoe, you get the white, beige, black, with a little bit of orange hit. So, Jordan Brand knew what they were doing here. They're like, let's go ahead and make this a really nice neutral tone low, or have them have a nice little loud pop of color high. People love highs. They don't love lows as much, but let's give them the option to either love this low or like the high. Well played, Jordan Brand, well played. <laughs> what do you guys think of this shoe? Do you like the prototype? Did you get the prototype? What color laces probably goes the best? Now, personally for me, it's not even a question, black or orange, 100%. Black or orange is the way to go for this. I love the accent that the orange gives you and, and the kind of pop you get with this orange. Pretty, pretty easy for me. Standard, black outsole, white midsole, and then the pop of color everywhere, so. I like it. Let's go and do a rating, one through 10. I would give this Jordan 1 shoe a 3.9. 3.9 because I like the colors, I don't love the colors. I think that what they did with the stitching thing, it's a little insane. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know why they decided they thought this was gonna be a good idea. Either make a low or don't make a low. Either make it high or don't make it high. Nobody wants this stitching thing. That ruins the high. That essentially basically points a gun at someone's head and says, get rid of this. You don't like it? I know you don't like it. Get rid of it. Maybe it's a marketing campaign. Maybe they're what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to say to themselves, let's get everyone to cut the top off of their highs 
and make them wear a low. Make them have a little deconstructed look to it too when they get rid of the, the high portion. Make them tag Nike, tag Jordan brand, tag all the things on social. Bring a little hype to the sneaker. Get some more marketing that they don't really even need because Nike is probably one of the hottest brands in the world right now. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. If you haven't noticed already, please smash that like button. For future content, hit the subscribe. Until next time, guys, see ya.